I'm with Ollie Riley. Now, I have looked at this vice before, but I'm going to look at it again because it's very, very impressive. Ollie, tell us about what we've got here on work yep. holding. So what we've got here is we've got the two jaw modules themselves just mounted onto a standard vice. So all we've done is just use a soft jaw and just machine through and put some two cap heads on each jaw. Um, so what we've got behind it is it's all spring-loaded pins that mould up. So what you've got is 25 newton meters to torque you up to. And once you've got that, you've got 0.85 of a metric ton of machining forces you can put through the component. Okay, now this is a product available from Hi4. What's your web website just before we get into more detail? <laughs> yeah, it's hi4.shop. <laughs> okay, and you can buy these on, obviously online. What's, what's good about this as a solution? Is it down to the fact you can just hold a regular shapes and castings? It's, the idea behind it is you could come to me with any shape component, any size, and say, right, how can I hold this? And I could look at this and go, right, this is how we'll do it. So it's whether you want to look at having multiple voices in a row and, and for a longer component. For, Let's put for one in. Let's put one in. But you've got a cast in it. Yeah. I've got something here to cut through. So predominantly you'd be using parallels or a nest of some sort to so you put your component into. Let's pop this through. And as I tighten up, the pins will all mould around the shape of the component. If I move my hand out of the way. So if I then lock it up, for the sake of demonstration, I'm just not going to use a torque wrench for this. I'm just going to use a 5mm Allen key. And uh, if I tighten that side up as well. And how secure is it? If I just tighten this up, you'll be able to see here there's no, no movements whatsoever on the component. Is, is, there, a, is there a clamping force that you can, um, you can use or people can... Uh, yeah. can so you can get 0.85 of a metric tonne. Through the for it and clamping force. With vices and clamping, people talk about pull down, pull up, uh, neutral, however it might be. What what is this? Is it, it, do any of those phrases apply? It's a bit different with this because the component is wrapped around, so it's actually going to give you a precise, accurate fit around it because each individual pin will locate at a certain point on the component. So as you're wrapping around it, you're going to get a true holding force on it. Could you still use a, a, or, or clamp a, a normal standard prismatic part in this too? It doesn't have yes. to be a cast. No, it doesn't have to be a cast in. It doesn't have to be in a regular shape. It doesn't have to be bar. You can hold whatever component in this as well. Okay, popular? Are you selling a lot? <laughs> it's very popular amongst people to try it out, especially in pre-production prototyping. And we've seen a lot more with production of things like blades, things I like can imagine. space. So, so you form of those shapes of them, it's quite easy to, uh, to hold in comparison to uh, in a vice. <laughs> do like it, I like it a lot. So that's uh, that's it, just remind us of the name of this product. So it's the Matrix Clamping System. And it's available from hi4.shop.